Derek Brunson, who's on an impeccable run, is probably going to have to fight again to get a title opportunity because he's already fought out in Sanya. That's why for Darren Till, this is a very frustrating loss because, ironically enough, Till probably only needed to win one fight in a row to get that title opportunity. Brunson's won five, and it's probably still not enough. But I think a lot of people want to see Darren Till be successful because he's a very exciting fighter. I think he absolutely needs to change his environment and needs to focus on the defensive wrestling because what happened against Brunson, he got out wrestled. He, uh, you know, also Derek was was tenacious too. not only just the wrestling, but the uh, conditioning and the fighting spirit of Derek Brunson, I think, broke Darren Till. Darren Till. This is my thing about Derek Brunson, and, and I understand why he's calling for a tile shot. You know, he mentioned after the fight that he'd be willing to wait for it. I mean, the problem is, is like you, when you look at this five fight winning streak, Elias Theodoro, not in the UFC anymore. Ian Heinish, I want to say is ranked like somewhere 12, 13, somewhere in that range. Evan Shabazian, kind of in the same range. Kevin Holland, a guy that's in between two weight classes. And Darren Till, like, he doesn't have, to me, that top five win at 185 pounds. And I don't consider Darren Till a a top five win at 185 just based on, you know, who Darren Till, what he has done of note. I mean, you mentioned about that one win. I I didn't think he won that fight against Stephen Thompson. So, you know, to me, it's like, I I think that if you're Derek Brunson, like, a Jared Cannier type fight or Apollo Costa, someone that's ranked above him as a true number one contender fight. I mean, to me, he's right there. And I mean, you're talking about, you know, Whitaker non signing is not going to, ha- you know, the, the, the talk is it's not going to happen until 2022 now. So it's like, you know, you're probably going to have to go in there, which I, I think should be the right play to say, Hey, go out there and show you're the true number one contender by beating one of the other top contenders. I mean, maybe we should even do a little middleweight tournament. Cause like, let's say I didn't sign a Whitaker fight. Let's say Whitaker beats out in Sonya. I think we're seeing another fight between those two. And so right now on the books, they got Costa versus Vittori, and they got Cannoneer available. I think maybe we do Cannoneer versus Brunson. We see what happens between Costa and Vittori, and maybe when the dust settles, you know, Brunson might have to face the winner of Costa Vittori, and then we actually have a legit number one contender. I mean, the thing is, whenever you've already had that loss to the guy, there's just no – you can wait all you want. No one wants to see Derek Brunson challenge for the middleweight championship. And that's a harsh reality because he's unbelievably talented and he should be so proud of what he accomplished. But the harsh reality is that there's no single fan in this entire – there's not a person in this country that's not related to Derek Brunson or isn't his friend that wants to see him fight for the title. Yeah, no, And he's I mean, won five in a row. That's It's as simple as that. He's got to keep on fighting if he wants to get that title opportunity. And the Jared Kanier fight is where it's at. And again, shout out to Derek Brunson, bro. Hell of a performance, but he's not someone where the ball is not in his court. And if it's in his court, it's a damn golf ball. 